This part, no. But that was the hole here. They actually expand. What are we gonna do with this drumstick? When you use the drumstick, you're gonna hook your other stick. <laughs> There's foam over there, the white stuff over there. I spent almost 5,000 ringgit in three days to get this white foam stuffed in my car. Alright, so take a look at the bottom here. And I was told it can improve comfort, right quality, and get this handling as well. But does it? So in this video, I'll let Desmond and his team stuff auto foam into my BMW M2 competition's chassis and then I'll take the car up to my favourite route to see if it actually works. More of that in this episode. Okay guys, so we're here in KL Auto Foam and uh, Desmond, the CEO here, is going to get my car foamed up and uh, hopefully performing better. So uh, what are we going to do with this drumstick? <laughs> You're gonna use the drumstick, you're gonna hook your other stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the main chassis. This is okay. the engine chassis. Okay. Alright. You can't see much. Uh, it's yeah. easier to see from here. Okay, yeah. great. Can you see here? Alright. This is the main chassis here, okay? Okay. It runs from the bumper underneath your dash to the back. Okay. So we gotta form this part here for you. Good, it's very hollow. Oh, it's completely hollow inside there. Completely hollow inside here. Okay. okay. Maybe, maybe before we go and look at the car, maybe give the we can give a visual on on why, why we actually form it. Right? Here, right? Uh, here. Yeah. Here, that, yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do today is uh, main, mainly this part, right? Yeah. Yeah. Part. Okay. okay. So the current chassis is 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 actually hollow. All hollow. Completely hollow, but with the exception of this part over here, there's uh, uh, that's what that's a body. Ah. That's another part and later we show you. Okay, okay. okay. Engine frame and the drive the frame. And this is uh to improve also the handling of the car. Definitely. Alright. Okay. Okay. So we saw the front, right? We which is that part. So it starts from so the whole part over there. It goes right? underneath. Underneath. Okay. Underneath here as well. Let me see if we can get there. Get uh, okay. Get out. Ah uh, uh, yeah, there you go. That's this is it, right? Uh, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be also uh foam. Okay. They connect they are, they are holistic. Ah. You see, unlike bars, bars you do specific or, or localized. Yeah, yeah. We are holistic. Yeah. We, we got to treat. When there's a bone, we got to treat it. Okay. I'm going to put bone marrow into your chassis. Okay. So to uh, um, appreciate what auto foaming is all about, yeah, this is a, uh, a demo. If you, I'll give you a visual reference to it. So this yeah. is a. Imagine this is your chassis, uh, and it's hollow, right? And uh, if you try to balance this, look at this, like, because there's, uh, there's a pitch and yaw. It's how when you, when you accelerate and brake the car, you pitch and yaw, right? So that affects your handling. So look at this, it, it is yawing back and forth. And uh, let's see, this is auto foamed, right? So you can see inside there is for the foam, same two fingers, and you can see that it just is easier to balance because it, it becomes more rigid. The weight transfer is more unison. I'm gonna drop this on the floor and just hear the sound and hear. Ow, that's loud. Okay, and then it's over here. Right, and look at that, it's not, not a lot of bounces. It goes in and, and it absorbs. All right, so that's part of the foam's character. It absorbs the vibration. Uh, therefore, you can see it doesn't bounce, bounce, bounce. All right. For real wheel drive cars, yeah. especially BM and Mercedes, this is the most important section. We call it the boot thing. Mm -hmm. See here? It, it, it is very hollow. Yeah. Oh, you know, BMW drivers drive the car with the rear, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the butt, we're going to do this portion here. Okay. I'm going to connect this. I'm going to stiffen this for you. So, let's just get a sense how deep it is. So, this is the screwdriver. So, let's just see how much. It's roughly around this. The, yeah. Being yeah. around 3 inches. Right? And it's really white in there. You can just get a sense how white it is. Yeah, so that's all going to be foamed up to get uh, more rigidity. rigidity on the rear. Right? And then we come to the interior. Okay. Now, unfortunately for BMs, they use the door seals yeah. or the rocker panels yeah. as a subwoofer outlet. Okay. So we can't foam here. Okay. Mercedes, Audi, we can. Okay. Japanese cars, we can. Okay. But not, not for this car? La. Not for BMs. What's this? How do you do it? Eh? Now, I'm going to foam the A pillar. A pillar, okay. okay. This is more for scuttle shape. You won't feel it much on this car, uh -huh. but it has. Uh -huh. So you make it more rigid. Okay. Because the absorber also fits to here. I mean, it's part of the chassis. Oh, okay. 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 And very important for your car. Uh -huh. The B pillar. B pillar. Let me, let me try to get inside that so we can. Oh, let's move over. Yeah, this, this part here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, M cars, 
or being a few cars, uh, being a few started foaming. You see, inside here, you already got foam. You don't mind, I take a little bit yeah, out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is the original foam. Okay. It's like nice and soft. Okay. More for loins. It's like a little sponge actually. Uh, ah. It's very well foamed. Mmm. Understand? Okay. And your car, this is very unique. They yeah, check that out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have this bar here. Yeah, right. this is like a like a it's like, like a roll cage, cage right? Ah, like an yeah. inbuilt roll cage. Yeah. This is not present in uh, normal normal, normal in non non M cars. Yeah. Okay. So when we cool. saw this, oh, see okay. the chassis. Yeah. They 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 they, they like bond it to the body panel. Yeah. To reduce flex. Yeah. Oh. Got it. Yeah. yeah okay. Mm, Thank that's you. That's why you make it more rigid, huh? mm? Okay. It's all about rigidity. We want the chassis rigid. Uh -huh. We want the suspension to be stiff. Yeah. To be compliant. Yeah. But the stiffer the suspension, you need the chassis to be more rigid. Yeah. Then you get less of the vibration. Okay, come. So, okay, while they're going to start, I'll just show you something as well. Something interesting that they do from their many experience of doing uh, this. What well, water test does it get? Yes, water test. So, they, they uh, throw yes, some water, uh, right, yeah. to find out how the water flows. And this is important actually, because if you foam uh, against where the water is flowing, you're going to start accumulating water in the car. This water, I see, right? yeah. So you can see, yep, that spot, the double foam gun. Ah, uh, uh, we can't foam that part. So with that, we're gonna start foaming. Uh, show you how foaming looks like. So with all of that said and done, three days and approximately five thousand ringgit spent on auto foaming my car. How does it feel? Well, um, before I go into the review, I do want to put out some caveat first. See, most people auto foam their car. They want more comfort. They want more rideability. But uh, I'm going to be honest with you, my expectations of auto foam is a little bit extreme. <laughs> Where in fact, I expect my car to handle better because I hear all the reviews of people auto foaming their cars and they say it transforms their handling. Now, these are people who drive older cars. So they drive cars that are a little bit softer and flex a little bit more. The M2 competition on the other hand is already pretty darn stiff. <laughs> and uh, well, it's a modern chassis and we all found in the pillars, there is a built-in anti-roll bar, sorry, um, roll cake. So, how much better can the car be, being it so stiff already? Because auto foam, as you saw in the earlier video, it does help with, you know, providing more, like, you know, stiffness on the chassis. So, what better place to test the car than to test it at the familiar roads of Genting Highlands? Right, so I just did a run up Genting Highlands and uh, I gotta say, there is a difference. I didn't feel much in the highway driving and stuff other than the noise and you know comfort and all those things which I'll, I'll share later on. But when it comes to the handling of the car, right, like this corners right now, <laughs> there is quite a difference. Okay, so first and foremost, braking. The car doesn't dive that much more, right? It's, it takes less time to transfer from the rear to the front. The dive is more, uh, the, the pitch is a lot more uh, unison. And it takes a shorter time for it to go all the way to the front. Which that means I can modulate my braking a little bit more. And the other thing that happens is the front axle of the car is a lot more responsive, more dartier. And uh, in a way that it, it responds a lot faster than what it was. Now, the downside is that I have to adjust my driving style. You know, Normally, I would turn a little bit earlier and wait for the car to load the tires and then I go into a corner, right? But now, <laughs> I find myself loading it too early, right? But also means that now I can go into the corner, break a little bit later. But I gotta tell you, the comfort level has really increased. All right, my car used to crash around these areas a little bit, but now I'm just, you know, cutting through it. Now, one thing I do feel on the rear side of the car is that because the rear has stiffened up as well, the weight transfer from the left to the right is a lot more faster as well. Right? Sometimes, you know, this car is not a light car, it's 1.6 tons. 
and when I'm going through a corner, I have to sometimes wait for the weight to shift. Let's say I'm going from right to left, right? I have to wait for the weight to shift from the left to neutral and then go to the right. It takes a little bit of time and it's not it's not necessarily really long, but there is a gap of time that I have to manage that weight transfer. But now with the auto form, um, that transfer is a lot more faster. Okay. Is it a good thing? Well, yes, it means that you can drive closer to the limit, right? It means that um, also when I'm oversteering the car, um, because the rear, especially the rear, is stiffer, I can more properly manage my oversteer, right? Which I have <laughs> going up and uh, makes the car a little bit more playful, alright? But the downside is you just gotta manage the uh, speed of the weight transfer a little bit more, but it's more of adjusting. But objectively, I don't feel there's any drawbacks to the auto form. And my steering is less, you know, it doesn't vibrate as much because the M2 competition, or M cars rather, the suspension goes straight to the frame instead of the subframe. And the rack, or the steering rack, rests on top of the frame. So when it vibrates, when you go through a bump, it goes all into the steering rack. So all the foam in the front frame just really absorbs all that impact and are leaving you with something a bit more livable. Actually quite a lot more livable. I just really like how the front, the braking, the front just really sits in nicely. I, I like that feeling. Yeah, it's less nervous under heavy braking. Yeah, I can't really find a downside. Well, there is one. <laughs> you have to add on approximately 4.5 kilos to the car's weight but I think if you're not going to race if you're not going to you know set lap times and stuff like that I think it's negligible and because I have also the sound proving highways are much more comfortable right now it's by no means E-class level or 5 series level but you know they're more the highway miles are more bearable one of the See, doing soundproofing and autoproofing, uh, I believe that doing soundproofing and autoforming is not just something you just chuck into the car. You gotta know where to put the soundproofing and also put the foaming. And in Desmond's case, the KL Auto, uh, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're looking to get your car auto foam, just drop by uh, KL Auto and uh, let them know that Thomas sent you and uh, you know, enjoy you're more comfortable and you're more sharper right okay so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what do you think about auto forming what questions do you have about auto forming i'll do my best to answer all your questions and if you want more, more, more content like this in the future reviews not just on cars but also on uh, um, you know aftermarket stuff you know subscribe to my channel and uh turn the bell notifications so i get an alert when a new video is out right with that i'm going to just slowly cruise my way home right have a nice day love you guys Give me 100%. Ciao.